Ever found yourself daydreaming about Earth doubling in size? Picture this. Landscapes go on a growth spurt, mountains shoot up like they're on steroids, and oceans start to think they're the new Pacific. With this upgrade, gravity would be like that pushy gym trainer, making every step feel like a full-blown marathon. But hey, there's a silver lining. A behemoth Earth equals a giant amusement park for thrill-seekers and explorers. As we gallivant through this supersized planet, one can't help but ask, a jumbo earth, a mammoth-sized playground for exploration and shenanigans. But what about the critters we co-inhabit with? In a world twice as large, trees would be like, whoa, I need to grow more, I'm already doing photosynthesis at max capacity here. And animals, particularly the larger ones, would be like, great, just what I needed. As if grappling with my own body weight wasn't a workout already, now I have to deal with extra gravity. Picture these poor trees with gravity, their structural integrity on the line like they're taking part in some mad reality show. Similarly, animals are forced to bear the burden of their enhanced weight. Man, talk about an intense workout regime. Yet, in this supersized earth we might witness the birth of new species or old ones pulling off crazy from the skyscraping trees to the teeny weeny bugs. Life as we know it would turn into a wild comedy show. So. Let's say we live on a planet with an ego the size of Kanye West's, you know, a bigger Earth. This would mean we'd see the stars and galaxies up closer, thanks to our gravitational pull acting as a celestial magnet. It's like having a VIP pass to the universe, no telescope needed. The constellations we've been studying since we were kids would be all out of whack. Imagine explaining that to your astrology-obsessed friend. And our moon? It'd be mooning us all the time. So big, you'd feel like you could reach out and smack it. A larger Earth, a fresher cosmic perspective, and a free comedy show every night. But how would our solar system handle this bigger me syndrome? Imagine this folks, our dear Earth suddenly hits the cosmic gym, bulks up, and doubles its size. It's not just about us looking even tinier, oh no, it'd send ripples across our spacey neighborhood. So, here's what we'd see. Our buffed up home planet starts showing off its new gravitational muscles. It's like Earth's going through a teenager's power trip phase messing with the delicate two-step of celestial bodies nearby. Our celestial next-door neighbors Mars and Venus would definitely feel the pull. It's like Earth suddenly becomes the popular kid in the planetary school altering their orbits. Even the asteroid belt might feel a bit jelly, causing asteroids to dramatically change their paths. So there we have it, a beefed-up Earth leading to a whole new look for our solar system. Stirs up the imagination, doesn't it? Or maybe it just stirs up an intergalactic headache. Imagine a world where you weigh twice as much. And no, it's not because you couldn't resist that second slice of pizza, but because the Earth's size has doubled. How's that for a diet plan? Suddenly your daily jog feels like you're running with an elephant on your back, and standing up from your chair feels like you're lifting a car. This is due to gravity, a sneaky invisible force that pulls you towards the Earth. If our planet decided to go on a growth spurt and double in size, gravity would get a major boost, turning every movement into a workout. In such a world you'd need to hit the gym harder than a bodybuilder before a competition just to stay fit. Now let's ponder how your body would cope with this gravity on steroids. It's not a pretty picture. Our cardiovascular systems would be under more stress than a college student during finals week. And bone fractures and joint injuries might become as common as colds. Imagine feeling like you've just run a marathon every single day. And here's another sobering thought. Our lifespans could shorten our bodies aging faster than a banana left in the sun. It seems we'd need to rethink our healthcare if Earth decided to supersize itself. A larger Earth doesn't just mean more room to roam. Our atmosphere would change too. Imagine a blanket thicker and heavier wrapping around our planet. This would crank up the air pressure, possibly messing with oxygen levels. And with this atmospheric shift, we'd see weather patterns dancing to a different beat. Storms could become more intense, rainfall more abundant, and wind patterns could shift significantly. So, we'd be dealing with more than just a heavy step, but also a whole new weather forecast that could rival a soap opera for drama. Ever thought about deep diving? Well, our oceans would be a whole lot deeper if Earth doubled in size. The increased gravity would lead to stronger ocean dynamics, churning the deep ocean more than a washing machine on spin cycle, thanks to geothermal heat. With the atmospheric pressure ramped up, even the boiling point of water and the behavior of ocean currents would shift. Imagine the Mariana Trench multiplied, and you get a glimpse of the oceanic overhaul we'd experience. So, if you thought the Mariana Trench was deep, wait until you see the new Earth. It's like comparing a kiddie pool to the Pacific Ocean. 
Would life still thrive in these extreme conditions? Life's resilience and adaptability are awe-inspiring. Picture the tenacious extremophiles, organisms that thrive in seemingly inhospitable corners of our planet, from scorching hot springs to the crushing depths of the ocean. Consider also the potential for life in the icy oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa. If life can exist there, why not on a supersized Earth? Life, as it turns out, is a stubborn tenant, and would likely find a way to survive, even on a supersized Earth. Because let's face it, life is like that one person at the party who just won't leave, no matter how late it gets. Ever lay awake at night pondering how a larger Earth would affect our environment and biodiversity? Well, you're in luck! We're about to dive into some potential impacts that would make your head spin faster than the Earth itself. Imagine this. Gravity suddenly becomes your overbearing mother-in-law. More gravity, more problems. Plants might start growing sideways and animals could start walking funny. Talk about a bad hair day. Gravity, it seems, is the life of the biodiversity party. Now what if our atmosphere got a bit thicker like your favorite mystery novel? Let's think about it. Weather patterns changing like moody teenagers, habitats, and species playing musical chairs. Some regions might become the life of the party, while others would be left out in the cold. Atmospheric changes, the ultimate party crashers. More land, more problems, right? Picture it, vast new territories for agriculture, human habitation, and even conservation. But wait, with great land comes great responsibility. It's a delicate juggling act, trying to avoid habitat destruction and biodiversity loss. Land use, it seems, is a double-edged sword and we're not talking about the one in your video game. What about our oceans? Would they become the ultimate deep-end pool? Deeper and potentially larger oceans could significantly alter marine ecosystems. Changes in temperature, pressure, and chemistry might shift species distributions across the globe. The depths of our oceans could hide more surprises than your grandma's attic. How about our impact on the environment? This is where things get interesting. With more land, pollution and deforestation could intensify, and resources might disappear faster than your last paycheck. Our actions, it seems, could have more sequels than a Hollywood franchise. A larger Earth and climate change, the ultimate drama duo? Different climate dynamics could send species packing. Increased extinction rates may follow as habitats become as inhospitable as a dentist's waiting room. Climate change may be the ultimate party pooper on a larger Earth. So a larger Earth would certainly be a different world. Altered gravity, atmospheric shifts, expanded land and oceans, amplified human impacts and accelerated climate change. While the Earth's size isn't changing anytime soon, it's as entertaining as watching a reality TV show to imagine the possibilities. Ever thought about what would happen to our dear GPS if Earth decided to hit the gym and double its size? You know, like a cosmic growth spurt. Well, let's just say it wouldn't be pretty. In fact, our GPS would probably be in the throes of a midlife crisis. Imagine this, our planet suddenly gains mass, like a teenager who just discovered protein shakes. Meanwhile, our GPS network, a delicate dance of satellites waltzing in space, is thrown off its rhythm. It's like trying to dance the tango with a sumo wrestler. Suddenly, satellites are flung out of their ideal orbits, scrambling to keep up with Earth's new gravitational groove. And let's not forget about signal transmission. Oh boy, the precise timing and triangulation that GPS relies on would go haywire. It's as if the satellite suddenly developed a stutter and the signal travel distance becomes a marathon. So while GPS might still work in theory, it would need a complete makeover to accommodate our suddenly buff Earth. Talk about a massive project, but wait, there's more. Earth's sudden bulk up wouldn't just upset GPS, it'd throw a wrench into all our daily tech. Picture transportation, for instance. Cars would need more energy to overcome Earth's stronger gravitational pull, guzzling down fuel like never before. Roads and bridges would groan under the strain, and public transit systems would have to adapt or throw a fit. And air travel? Planes would need more powerful engines and more fuel to take off, like trying to launch a rocket with a rubber band. Then there's energy production. Rivers would flow differently, messing up hydroelectric power generation. The atmosphere would change, messing with wind patterns and wind turbines. The rotation period might change, affecting solar energy. And extracting fossil fuels could become more challenging, like trying to suck a thick milkshake through a tiny straw. From GPS to transportation to energy production, a larger Earth would be like a cosmic curveball.
Next time you use your GPS, spare a thought for the massive network and precise calculations that make it all possible. And maybe, just maybe, be grateful that Earth hasn't decided to hit the gym anytime soon. Ever wondered what would happen if our Earth hit the gym and bulked up a bit? Let's talk about how that would mess up our space travel plans. If our planet decided to put on some pounds, we'd see gravity turning into a tenacious bouncer, informing our rockets, you're not going anywhere, buddy, forcing them to chug down more fuel. Next up, our beefed up Earth would pump up the escape velocity, acting like a strict parent, making sneaking out to Mars or nabbing samples from asteroids way more complicated and pricey. A quick trip to the space store for a spacecraft design upgrade would be inevitable. Now let's not ignore the grumpy elephant in the room, the environmental terrain. Those amped up rocket launches, already notorious for atmospheric pollution, would likely turn into an even bigger nightmare, with Mother Nature frowning at the sight of these muscle-bound rockets. So, a larger Earth would be like that annoying gym bro, making space travel a whole lot more complicated, expensive, and a major party pooper. So, if Earth, if Earth decided to go on a growth spurt, we'd be in for a wild ride. Gravity would be like a clingy X, demanding more and more from us as we strive to break free. Our rockets would need to be filled to the brim with extra fuel to fight this increased pull, thereby draining our resources and leading to more technical headaches. Then there's escape velocity to contend with, a tough bouncer always ready to stand in our way. Our dreams of sneaking out to visit Mars or snagging souvenirs from asteroids would become infinitely more complex and expensive. Let's not forget the morning after. The environmental impact of these beefed up rockets would be akin to a nasty hangover following a particularly wild bash. The pollution from rocket launches, already a significant issue, would likely skyrocket, making our partying with space a lot less fun. A larger Earth wouldn't just be a bigger sandbox for us to play in, it would be like that one friend who always takes things too far. Our pursuit of space exploration would become a lot more challenging, costly, and quite frankly, a major buzzkill. Ever wondered how farming would look like on a planet on steroids? Imagine Earth hitting the intergalactic gym and getting buffed up with some gravitation gains. Plant life would be flexing new growth patterns and beefed up physical structures to keep up with this pumped up way of transporting nutrients and water. This could cause crop yields to go on a roller coaster ride. And oh, the side effects. Our jacked up Earth might have a thicker atmosphere abs, altering weather patterns, rain showers, and its tanning hours under the sun. Farmers would have to up their game to keep up with these roided out conditions. Let's talk about thee and rivers. If the planet's bulk up resulted in oceans that make the Marianas Trench look like a kiddie pool, and rivers juiced up to the max, irrigation practices and the land for farming could take a serious hit. And biodiversity? Man, the gyms, I mean ecosystems, supporting our agricultural gains, including the hardworking bees and other helpful little critters, could be sweating bullets, potentially affecting our crop variety and hardiness. And don't get me started on the energy needed for farming. With farming machinery weighing more than a sumo wrestler and increased resistance from a denser atmosphere, farming could become as hard as bench pressing a bulldozer. So, there you have it, folks. A bulked up Earth could truly toss agriculture into a cosmic mixmaster in ways our puny, non steroid enhanced brains might not even fully comprehend yet. Ever thought about how a beefed up Earth would make your grocery bill look like a phone number? Or how about turning your favorite foods into prized rarities? Yeah, that's right. More gravity? More problems, my friend. Picture this. Farming becomes a workout routine on steroids, racking up production costs and giving your food bills some serious muscles. And the weather? It's not just raining cats and dogs anymore, it's raining on your crop parade with new patterns that might make growing food as challenging as rocket science. Where you once saw lush, fruitful regions, you might see areas that are about as friendly to agriculture as a cactus to a water balloon. Expect to see your favorite foods playing hard to get and their prices playing tag with the clouds. And transportation? Let's not even go there. We're talking about fuel requirements that'd make a gas station owner do a happy dance. Your food's final price tag might end up needing its own zip code. And let's talk about the agric infrastructures. They'd need to be as up-to-date and adaptable as a teenager's social media account to handle these pumped up conditions, adding even more weight to your already obese grocery bill. And with the world's trade patterns playing musical chairs, 
those heavily reliant on imports might see their food prices going on a sky-high roller coaster ride. And the cherry on top? The socio-economic ripples. When food prices start dressing up as skyscrapers, we might see food insecurity and social challenges popping up like unwanted pimples. So there you have it. A bulked up earth could have your food system doing the macarena from seed to supper, transforming not just how we grow our munchies but also how much they cost and how they play hide and seek with us. Ever thought about living on a bigger earth? More room for your stuff, right? Picture this. A planet so big its gravitational pull would be like an overprotective parent, wrapping us in a thick atmospheric blanket, keeping us safe from all those nasty space rays, and talk about climate stability. It's like the Goldilocks of planets, not too hot, not too cold, just right. Imagine a world where mountains erode faster due to this gravity, creating a flatter landscape that's as exciting as a pancake. But hey, it's a perfect home for diverse life forms, so there's that. And the land, oh the land, we'd have so much of it, we might actually give the squirrels some space for once. These are some potential perks of living large on a bigger earth. Now who's hungry? What about the nutritional and agricultural benefits of a larger earth? Picture it, more land to cultivate than a farmer's dream. Our food production capacity would be so high we'd have to invent new meals. Brunch anyone? A smorgasbord of climates and ecosystems could sprout up, offering opportunities to grow everything from apples to zucchinis. This diversity would not only spice up our diets but also toughen up our food systems. And the photosynthesis? It would be like a plant rave all the time. We'd have so many crops, we'd be rolling in grain. This agricultural abundance could drive economic growth, especially in rural areas where farming is the new Bitcoin. And nutrition? We'd be so healthy, doctors would be out of a job. Advances in agricultural tech like biofortification could be applied on a grander scale. The result? Superfoods that make kale look like junk food. While these benefits are speculative, they do paint a pretty hilarious picture of what could be possible on a larger Earth. But hey, let's not forget bigger isn't always better. A larger Earth might need more energy for farming and transportation, and we could face unpredictable weather patterns that might impact agricultural productivity. It's like your mom always said, everything in moderation. So, while we daydream about the benefits of a larger Earth, let's also remember the potential hiccups. After all, the concept of a larger Earth offers a fascinating exploration into what might be possible if our planet decided to go on a growth spurt.